hello everyone welcome to my new video so guys i finally managed to watch uh, the gray man uh, directed by the russo brothers starring uh, ryan gosling dhanush uh, anadi arpaz chris evans and uh, believe me i just really enjoyed watching this movie Uh, on Netflix uh, but anyway it was a good experience watching it on Netflix and i really felt that this movie was uh, exceptionally good especially the fighting uh, the action sequence and uh, the little humor in between uh, and the chemistry between uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, uh, Chris Evans uh, i i think um, the, the opposite attracts so uh, chris evans uh, man uh, he just uh, uh, just made lord hands and the uh, the most hated uh, person on the planet i guess uh, it was such a good performance from you um, but uh, the exceptional performance obviously was from uh, danush who played uh, avixan and uh, uh, being an indian i felt so proud watching that uh, that action sequence between uh, uh, Dhanush, Ryan Gosling and uh, Nadi Armas in the hospital where they are all fighting for a uh, pen drive and uh, finally uh, Evik San who is playing, uh, played by Dhanush manages to kick ass, you know, literally beat the shit out of Ryan Gosling and uh, Nadi Armas. Uh, uh, that was a great, uh, great moment. I really felt <laughs> proud even though it was in the movie. <laughs> was just like watching a ufc game you know <laughs> but yes it's a movie but uh, again it's a proud moment but and danush i think he did a wonderful job coming out uh, in those few the last few minutes and you know giving that performance that energetic electrifying and um, action packed and yes and uh, he looks so agile and uh, flexible and smooth while doing this action just didn't feel out of place at all and yes uh, obviously <laughs> i hope you know that danush is a very famous actor from the tamil industry the indian industry and yes my tamil friend <laughs> that made it uh, or that made all the impact in the movie um, anyway so uh, here i am not really to discuss about uh, the gray man or its review but uh, basically i just want to shed more light on the character of uh, evik san uh, evik san played by danush so evik san uh, professional assassin hired by lloyd hansen to retrieve the pen drive from uh, uh, court and uh, miranda so uh, and finally he retrieves and brings it home and um, then he know he learns that uh, basically these people are not honorable as, you know especially uh, lloyd hansen um, so eric san thinks that uh, uh, lloyd hansen is a crook and not honor not honorable because uh, he plans to kill the little girl you know so uh, and uh, and that say a lot about uh, eric san's character because uh, eric san uh, he is a honorable person he is even though he is a professional assassin he is honorable he's got codes uh, he's got uh, ethics he's got rules uh, he plays by the book uh, so he doesn't uh, you know deviate from his mission uh, but yes but when he finds out that uh, the pe- people whom he who has hired him is not honorable he even gives up the money they offered and uh, Uh, gives back the pen drive to Miranda and says, "Take it. These are not honorable people. I don't want the money." So, see, so that says a lot about uh, Eric Sands' character in this movie, and uh, I believe this is uh, uh, this is just the start of the Eric Eric Sands. You know, because uh, we are going to see more of him probably in a sequel, and uh, maybe a movie only based on Eric Sands and. Uh, uh, how how evik san uh, became a professional assassin so i think the russo brothers are working on it and uh, uh, we're going to see a movie only for evik san soon and uh, yes there are talk about talks about uh, more indian actors uh, joining this movie uh, especially the likes of uh, vicky koshal uh, yes vicky koshal uh, was there at a uh, premiere show with the russo brothers and uh, Uh, Danush in India and uh, 
you see some shake hands going on and some hugging going on and you know that yeah, there is something going to happen between these guys together so uh, if you don't know about Vicky Koshal, please Google him and uh, you know he, he, he did a wonderful job in Uri, the surgical strike and also Sardar Uttam. So he's not a, a veteran but uh, he's an upcoming actor in, in the Indian industry and he's got a lot of, uh, lot of talent, a lot of talent and a uh, very promising actor. Uh, but yeah. And uh, Danuji is a veteran, so he's established himself and uh, he's got he's won a lot of awards, national awards, and he's, he's done a lot of movies already. And uh, the guy is a superb dancer, a good singer, a good fighter, and a good actor. So he's got all the qualities that requires in a hero, especially from an Indian industry. Uh, and uh, now he's going to make it into the Hollywood. And he's already made it into the Hollywood. Now he's going to make his mark. So hopefully Russo brothers um, gets together with Danush and makes uh, another movie <coughs> only for, uh, you know, focusing on Evik San. I mean, uh, this will also give a lot of opportunity for the other uh, Indian actors, Bollywood actors or Hollywood actors, but let's call it Indian actors who and heroines and heroes who can join in into the cast and uh, come up uh, to the Hollywood lineup. Uh, and I think Danush has paved the path for everybody uh, performing such wonderfully in uh, uh, The Grey Man. And obviously, uh, we are definitely to see uh, The Grey Man 2, Part 2 or Part 3 and uh, mostly, most probably, uh, Grey Man Universe you know with all these killers probably stories focusing on uh, Danny Miranda and stories probably on uh, movies uh, focusing on Lloyd Hansen how Lloyd Hansen became uh, such a prick <laughs> or a dick <laughs> uh, but uh, again um, I say uh, the focus would be more on a big sign because uh, uh, that would gather the mass and that, that would gather a lot of uh, viewers uh, because of all the fan following from India. Anyway, that's what I think and uh, I hope this happens and I'm, I'll be um, really excited to watch a movie only based on uh, Evik San and uh, uh, how that character comes up and uh, how he ends up in such a situation. Um, uh, anyway, uh, let's hope for the best. Um, so, until then, uh, see you guys. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, I hope I can come back with more videos like this. And I hope you like this. And uh, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.